Hello everybody, GreenArch75 is back. Before we get started, I want to get into some background first. A couple of weeks ago, I graduated from college with an associate's degree in liberal arts. At least, I hope I did, because we all know for a few more weeks. Yeah, even I don't understand it. But anyway, as a graduation present, I received a package. It's something we've been trying to order since January, but it was difficult to order because our new house is a CPR, or condominium property regime. Search it up if you don't know what it is. Because of this, many delivery companies would get confused as to which house is ours, even though we made it pretty clear. Long story short, we were able to change our address successfully so that FedEx can deliver our packages with ease. We were able to get a package earlier this month, but the product arrived damaged. So after we contacted the seller on Amazon, they sent us a new one for just 20 bucks. But enough talk. Let's unbox my new friend. First things first, let's point out the obvious. There's a hole in this box. There's a hole in the box that came damaged too. So that's kind of a red flag, but uh, you know, don't judge a product by its package. So let's open this baby. Come on. I know a lot of you people don't like unboxing videos, but uh, they, they, they're pretty helpful if you want to, uh, oh, there we go. I'll just stab it. They're, they're pretty helpful if you want to know what's inside the package beforehand and whether you should order it or not. I know it takes away from actually uh, opening the package yourself as a surprise, but usually uh, these things really help because of the reasons I just said, but come on. Open. There we go. Uh, so then this side is stabby. There we go. Let's throw this away. There we go. I know the unboxing isn't as uh, isn't as fun without Justin. For those of you who don't know, uh, I have an unlisted video where Justin and I unbox my bass guitar. From Amazon so we unboxed a bass guitar and it was a pretty good one it's a Dean I forget what uh, model it is I can it's like letters and numbers and stuff one day I should do a new video with Justin but he's working lately I kind of miss him he's working a lot and he's working at an entry-level job he works at Pizza Hut but Hopefully I can uh, hang out with him again one day and we can do a video together, like old times sake. Cause, uh, well, we got to hang out during New Year's Eve, this past New Year's Eve. So technically I haven't hung out with him since last year. <laughs> but, literally actually, I really get to see him. Okay, so that part's done. Let's put this scissors aside. Now let's flip her over. And let's inspect her to see if she's broken or not. Come on, open. Ah, there she is. Some of the parts of the packages are ripped. Okay. So, well, there's not too much styrofoam. So, I can feel styrofoam on the bottom. So anyway, let's remove this. I have a, uh... oh, here's the cool part about this. They let us keep the uh, other guitar. I know it's not that cool, but they can let us keep the broken guitar. I know it's not that cool, because but I understand. I mean, they can't take back a broken guitar, but at least they shipped us a new one for a fair price. Come on, there we go. So, let's open her and see what we have. Looks good so far. Okay, the neck is not broken. At least I hope not. Stand her up. There's a piece of styrofoam right there in the box. And... Alright, I'm moved. She looks good so far. 
Yeah. All right. Me. Uh. Yeah, I'm being careful not to break anything. Because if I break it, they're not going to return it. Or they're not going to send us a new one. Maybe, I don't know. Ah, look at that. Let's check the back. Come on. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Keep unboxing. Oh, wow. We're going to keep the other guitar for uh, spare parts. Just in case something on here gets broken. But if something like the wood gets broken, then I don't know what we can do. Well... We can always uh, repair it because it's a bolt-on neck. So, as you can see here, it's a bolt-on neck. But yeah, this is my new guitar. I will name her Charlotte after two things. One of which is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite wrestlers, one of my favorite diva wrestlers, and the other one is that. Uh, it's that city in North Carolina. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, see what she sounds like. Don't adjust your sound, it's fine. I just plugged in a microphone because when you record with a built-in microphone from the MacBook, it just sounds really, really bad. So let's hear what Charlotte has to say. Okay, what song can I play on a Les Paul model? Hmm, I know. Hang on, let me turn up the volume. Okay, here we go, and... Yeah, I'm... Not I haven't played that song in years, so um, kind of rusty at it. But overall, it's pretty good. The uh, the action is a bit low, but I can always adjust that. Plus, it's kind of hard to uh, maneuver my hands across the fretboard, but that's why I have this. So I guess that should be it for now. Go home. <laughs>